What if that was you? And what if that was one of your family members? How would you want to be treated? It's not about the lights and sirens. It's not about the adrenaline anymore. It's not about any of those things. It's about a genuine will to make a difference and to impact a, a patient's life. We chose our staff very carefully. We're after a particular type of person, an empathetic family type environment. A person who fitted into that kind of mold was much more attractive to us. If you don't have that underlying genuine compassion and, and um, need to care for your fellow man, you will burn out and leave the industry. I've been involved in EMS since 1994. The environment has completely changed. We were always looking at what next? Why are we doing it? What should we be doing? How do we address this need? How do we, you know, how do we sort that problem out? And, uh, and I think that spirit is what, is what drives uh, a lot of the team. Like we did with COVID, the support lines, the uh, COVID screening app, it's utilizing our contacts into infrastructure, using the technology we've got, enhancing technology to become a solutions provider. From the outset, we always took the approach that our branch managers need to take responsibility for the role that they play in the community that they serve. They really treat it like, um, like their own home and their own family. Simple things, like smile and greet. The first thing you do is you smile, you introduce yourself, and you greet the people around the patient. You introduce yourself to the patient. You don't come and force yourselves upon them or, or force yourselves into their lives or their homes. The paramedic on the front line, be it whether you're in the control room, uh, on the you know answering the emergency calls, be it whether you're working in the fleet department or in admin, everybody has got a common goal and a common focus, and that's around the patient, client, delivering proper services, caring, professional, have integrity, ethical. Every day, we are patient-centric. That patient-client has to come first. Everything we do should be about that person, that client in their time of need. That just takes special people. People that have drive and are, are keen to, to take a chance and to really make a difference. It's actually gone exactly according to plan and we are today where we always wanted to be. I think we can be exceptionally proud of what we've achieved in this time frame.